Hi everyone, my name is Donato from Tornos Academy. Uh, in the previous video, we went uh, through the fundamentals of the global part variables. So you know this subject at the moment. And we will open our multi-Swiss machine and look at the program we started together, which is training part one. You know where to find it by now. And we will quickly navigate through the main program and also through the part manager, just for you to familiarize with uh, the TBDECO environment and see where you can find the information. So we created this new part, we named it training part one. And here you see the main file folder that contains several other programs. The main program being the one we will be working on, where we will be actually programming our part. And here there are a series of sub programs that the machine will use according to the different production events, such as new bar loading, or according to the different actions from the operator, stop the machine at the end of the cycle, etc. So all this is managed by this part manager. You don't have to worry about that. It's all taken care of automatically. The only thing we will have to do is program our part into this main program. Now, since everything is already in place, we can see here we also have our tool catalog. And this tool catalog contains already some default uh, tools, like a front turning with already default geometry values. Drills as well, uh, that we can modify according to our need in the program. This we will develop a little bit later. Now let's open our main program to see what it looks like. So here I see my operations, operation one here. So there is one line for my axis and one line for my spindle. And then position two, again, same thing, one line for my axis and one line for my spindle and so on until you get to the cutoff and to the back work with the part recuperation and the part ejection. All these operations are already timed and prepared with the variables according to um, what you have entered into the global part variables here. So where you see a pencil, it's where we will be actually programming our ISO code. And what you see here are the rapid approach for the different tools. As you can see, everything is already installed and properly and safely synchronized. I want you to look quickly at these few bars here. Now we are on operation layout display. If I click on display the Gantt mode, what's going to happen is that actually TBDECO will generate all the operations and give you a different display, a display in Gantt mode, where every operation will be proportional to its duration. So you read it from left to right. And here we can see what at the moment is our leading operation time-wise. So it is very easy to find out later on. We will see as we go on programming, you will see um, which operations are the longest, where you should work on if you want to optimize your cycle, and so on. So this is the Gantt display. I can return on the operation layout display. This is uh, just to get you familiarized with uh, what it looks like. So this is all for this uh, short video to get you familiarized with the TBDECO environment. I hope you 
like this and this help you program the multi swiss more easily and efficiently and see you in the next video